are listening to the Forza Podcast with your host, Marsh. What up, what up, what up, Canes fans? It is the Fours Up Podcast. It is Tuesday, July 28th. It's your boy, Marsh, as always. And as always, I am joined by my wonderful co-host and producer, Jordan Nelson. Jordan, what are we saying? How are we feeling? What are we thinking? Dude, we're doing good. Um, I mean, recruiting is fantastic. We've landed uh, Thomas Davis and Brashard Smith since the last episode. Brashard! I know, man. We got him! Finally! Jeff Thomas reincarnated. Yep. Yep. Man, I feel like that... I feel like we were waiting for that commitment for so long. For real, man. Like, I... I, And and people know how high I am on Brashard Smith. I think he could be like a Percy Harvin, Tyree Kill kind of player. I think, honestly, he is will be a superstar for the Hurricanes. The dude is one of the most underrated players in all of South Florida. Just electric, 4-4 speed. I mean, and yeah. just within, in the Rhett Lashley offense, he's going to do so much. And then Thomas Davis, you know, he's Defensive Player of the Year in his region in Georgia. 11.5 yeah. sacks, like... Yeah, and he's he's another one of those like lightning fast linebackers that we've been going after recently. So, yeah, so yeah, great news for recruiting, and it just keeps going. It's exhausting. I will not lie. Like, I just I really just want the season to start so that we can focus on like actual football. But I mean, it's exhausting. But when we're doing this good, I mean, we're tenth in the country. And the Florida Gators are 11th. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> I love it, dude. Dude, the Gators are having a complete meltdown on social media, and it is the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. Yeah, can we talk about that for a second? Because, my God. Like, I th- I've seen sad fans before and, like, pathetic fans but when you make a fake like Instagram account, like <laughs> pretending to be Pop Cooney and like bashing recruits and tagging recruits, like you have reached a new level of sad. And Florida Gator fans, you are sad. I own your ass. <laughs> Dude, they they are the worst fan base in America, honestly. They really like are. I'm I'm a jazz fan, so you know, I, I'm I'm like biased towards hating Laker fans, and and for most of my life, I would have said Lakers fans are the worst sports fans in the world. But dude, Florida Gators fans are giving them a very good run for their money right now. And they're just like, I, it, it, yeah. Yesterday was I, I feel like there was something else that happened yesterday besides the the fake page for Cooney. But it, yeah. I mean, it was like an all day, just like shit show honestly it was there was that kid that said that he's like he's like i'm friends with people better than the palmetto kids <laughs> oh yeah that idiot that blocked me yeah. um but but and then we all went back and saw an <laughs> old tweet that said palmetto me or something like that yeah and then all these players all these recruits started tweeting at that kid <laughs> i know like man. Richard smith marcus tate like all these guys <laughs> oh it, it was just it was so awesome to watch because any chance that the Gators might have had with landing maybe like Leonard Taylor or Jason Marshall, I think like it might be gone now. Yeah. Oh, and they remember they made a fake Caneville tweet too. Yeah. yeah. Like, who, or, like what the hell do you do in like why? How do you have time in your day to do that? Yep, and then that one guy on the the Florida two four seven board is it's like Gator Bait five one six or something like that. He yeah. said that uh, you know, he's like, I don't care if it's fake. Let's push this stuff. <laughs> oh my, yeah, yeah. I don't care if it's fake. Let's push it out. I'm like, are you like you are so sad and oh. they are so salty that they are being out recruited by Manny Diaz and a team that went six and seven last year. Eleven and two doesn't mean crap uf I you know. can't I mean, you're not we're gonna steal all your recruits you're done you hear me dude what what does it say about their coaching staff that 
we can go six and seven and give these kids more faith in the direction of our program than Dan Mullen can. And, and, you know, credit to Manny for pulling that off, right? Yeah. Credit to Manny. Credit to Mr. Chief of Staff Ed Reed. I mean, honestly, credit to Banda. Like, everyone is killing it right now. It's it's incredible. It's so amazing because – I'd like I bring it up all the time. Just think about where we were in December. Yeah, man, we were. Uh, Let us we, now. We were at the we were at the edge, looking down into the abyss. We were at the gates of hell. Yeah, we really were, honestly. And now we are number ten in the country in was, recruiting, and I we are about becoming an FAU fan, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Go Owls! Right, I was. Uh, I was. You know, judging, uh, I, I was buying FAU stock. I thought they were on the way up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Willie's going to bring them back. Right. Yeah, but, um, yeah, we're number 10 in the country right now. Leonard Taylor is making his announcement on August 6th, which I believe is next Thursday. Yep. And Jason Marshall, we've heard. I know originally he was supposed to announce his decision on August 1st. I'm not sure when that's going – when it's going to be now because he deleted that tweet. But two five-stars that I, – I, I'm pretty confident that Miami is going to land Leonard Taylor, which oh. is just incredible to even say that out loud. And Jason Marshall, I, I feel I'm, – uh, I'm, I'm still 50-50, honestly. You know, I when it comes to Leonard Taylor, I feel very confident for Miami. And that's that's not – based on inside info um you know what i mean it's not like i've heard from anyone who's who's that close to the situation um feel very confident that he won't choose florida and i feel like by default that's us you know absolutely well i mean all the 247 guys they put in the crystal ball or whatever it is for taylor coming to miami i mean everyone all the georgia people had james williams going to georgia so maybe Something horrific happens, but yeah. And uh, what else? Oh, dude, I, I was scrolling through the his liked tweets last night. Oh yeah. <laughs> after, after taking a look at those, I was like, "There's no way this kid goes to play for Dan Mullen after liking all of these tweets." No, hell no. Like it's it's <laughs> so satisfying to see UF and their their cousin kissing fans just self destruct right in front of our eyes. They're pathetic. You suck. I'm so like, I I've just been going to war with them the last like two days. And like, some of them are just so dumb. Like this one guy said he would rather take Percy Harvin than Devin Hester. And he told me that Devin Hester isn't a hall of famer. Are you crazy? Are you nuts? I know, man. I mean, that's, Dude, how could you not put the best to ever play at their position in the Hall of Fame? Yeah, exactly. Because there, if that's the case, then there shouldn't be any kickers, there shouldn't be any punters, you know, there shouldn't be any special teams players, honestly, in the Hall of Fame. I mean, if there's if there's one single kicker in the Hall of Fame, then Devin Hester deserves to be there. And you know what's funny about UF fans is that they talk uh, like and they. They talk about their program like they're so high and mighty, but when was the last time they won a conference championship? When was the last time they won a national championship? It's been over 10 years, you hillbilly people, you hillbilly folk. Like, <laughs> you're not anything. You were 4-7 and seven a few years ago. I know. Two championships. You have two people in the Hall of Fame. Who are you? <laughs> you have Rex Grossman. <laughs> Yeah, dude. When was the last time they did anything without Tim Tebow? I mean, he he put that whole program on his back. Yeah, well, he had the help of the man above. So, I mean, he he was Tebowing. That's yeah. why. True. He, it was divine. He had. <laughs> it, it was divine. He was the chosen one. Yeah, I like Tim Tebow, honestly. Yeah, I know you do. Yeah. I'll, I'll give you a pass on that. You know, Tebow seems like a decent guy. Yeah. I I, I, for, I uh, choose to forget his time at the University of Florida, but, you know. 
I, I, I mean, I just like if it was like Clemson or Alabama fans, I could see where they're coming from. But yeah. it's like the Gators aren't. Oh, I just. Dude, they're pretenders. I, like, I'm, I'm beginning to hate them just more and more. And I know that my fandom is just really on full display right now, yeah. but I don't care. But yeah. um, honestly, dude, I, I've had a few instances in my life. This, you know, this whole saga being one of them that has actually made me hate UF fans worse than FSU fans. I, I don't, you know, I hate FSU as a program more just because they're more relevant to Miami. Yeah. You know what I mean? We play them every year. You know, we're, we're competing with them on a yearly basis. So I, you know, I, I view FSU as the bigger rival, but dude, when it comes to fans, I would much rather, you know, have dinner with a, uh, with an FSU fan than a UF fan. I can tell you Absolutely. that. Absolutely. I mean, ugh, I, it's just, and they like bring up last year and everything. And, and I'm like, well, then why aren't you out? Then how are we out recruiting you? Riddle yeah. me that if you can do math, yeah. UF fans. Yeah. It's just it's just funny to me. I don't know. Yeah. Man, wouldn't it have been great if Dan Mullen turned that job down? Because they struck out on everyone. Well, yeah. I mean, his we just got to get his wife out of there and. <laughs> 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 that's a whole nother situation okay well, but they better is, hope that they don't bring any 17 year olds onto that team or else she will be taken out of there <laughs> <laughs> she'll get busted for for kissing a 17 year old oh oh the mullins you know he coached at utah yeah yeah i i did i did know that he was yeah. living among us i know yeah i'm i'd uh i think you're much more of a utah guy than me though like i you know, I I cheer for uh, I'll cheer for the youths when they're having a good year, just to represent you know my my home state, the great yeah. state of Utah, the Beehive State. Yep. Um, but I I skew more towards being a BYU fan, honestly. But um, it's it's uh, dude, they might open up against Bama this year. <laughs> I don't yeah. know all that. <laughs> yeah, dude. Dude, BYU, BYU, they did have, like, the toughest schedule I've ever seen in my life. And I think, you know, then it kind of exploded because of all the, the conferences, you know, like the, the Pac-12 and, and Big Ten saying uh, conference games only. But I also saw or I heard from a friend who's big into Cougar Board that said that uh, they were trying to contact Miami about a non-conference game too, so. Oh, oh, please bring the Canes to Provo. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Yeah. I will have a heyday. Yeah, dude. I will that, walk into LaBelle. Dude, I will walk into Provo like I'm Spartacus. Yep. Dude, we uh, we need to throw a pretty big tailgate here in Utah for any Canes fans that comes out if, if that happens. Oh, yeah. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Because BYU fans don't tailgate in general, but yeah, well, pretty crazy. Yeah. Okay, but we have a mailbag episode coming for you guys today. But before we get to that, yeah, we have one of our favorite guests coming on. So let's get let's get the let's get him on. Okay, calling him up now. Yo, yo, Duck, what's up, man? How you doing? What's up, buddy? What's going on, Duck? What's happening, man? You know, just uh, enjoying life right now. Just hanging out today and really just talking some recruiting and talking some canes. And how Pretty are you feeling, time. man? How are we feeling? We're on a hot streak. We're on a hot streak. It uh, it feels pretty good. Like it's been a tremendous month. And got to give Coach Manny some credit on this one. I did not see this coming. Hey. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Yeah. Wait, well, would you repeat that for me, please? Yeah, I'm off bashing Manny. You can probably go and check my timeline now for a few weeks. I haven't badmouthed him at all, and I'm actually impressed what he's doing. I did not see that happening. These recruits that um, he's able to pull in after coming off, you know, the horrendous 
into last year.